So here's some art. I'm gonna be doing these like weekly production vlogs. Hi, Cal from the future here. Let's talk about this production vlog. So here I am already uh, kind of ass deep in the user interface, the menu that you go through to like make them attack seemingly user items, user specials, just because I'm a little bit more familiar with that. So a little bit less guesswork and I could just have fun with it and try out this new app that I haven't used before. This app that I'm currently using on screen is called A Sprite. Um, I think it's a pretty like industry standard for 8-bit art creation. I haven't used it before, so it's been a learning curve. While working on this, I've been going through like a lot of tutorials. So it's been kind of slow going. Just character designing basically these four characters uh, as well as eventually getting into the background uh, design and whatnot. So I have a rough background in there just so that I have a color palette to work with. You know, having no background isn't helpful. What they look like in a, in a certain background. So if you have a black background or a non-background, that's not really helpful. There's nothing to work with there. I have this temp background of this really good artist that I don't know, but it's not mine in the background. I'm doing what's called a gradient map to try on different color palettes that I got from uh, coolers felt how you think. Found a bunch of color palettes that I liked and I just try them on and I just mix and match them as, you know, whatever looks good, whatever I find interesting for different characters. As I'm doing the color picking, you know, things come to mind like, wouldn't it be a good idea if this? Wouldn't it be a good idea if that? So what was originally a wizard character has turned into gunslinging witch and what was originally going to be a gnome character is now inventory holder bombardier of sorts. And here I am uh, just going in and finalizing the soldier character as I made him in Photoshop. And now I have to like make that work in 8-bit, right? The things that work in Photoshop with its like half pixels don't really work in uh, a sprite i mean i could do a half pixel with like half opacity of the color and whatnot but i'm uh, again just like unfamiliar and i don't think i want to go for that look i want this really 8-bit look here so i'm having to find what works what doesn't work according to my rough that i did in photoshop and now i'm going into this character that i've named the lich uh, so as such he ends up being very like undead themed in his color and his design but uh very little was known and designed about him from the storyboard and i'm using this initial scene and this 8-bit to figure out who these characters are uh, for the sake of fleshing them out later um, they will not be 8-bit for most of the music video actually this process really is good for character design the 8-bit design process is like really strong and forces you to lean into character strengths character shapes character colors to make them very identifiable for whatever you're working on whatever the process here i'm roughing out a bit more of the background i realized like if i'm gonna have a black character uh like full black then he, they're not gonna stand out too much in a cave uh, so i'm either gonna need to give him an outline or uh have the background be less color so here i'm finally getting into actually cleaning up the background uh, i love the way this turned out but this was a learning process for sure where i had to uh figure out what works in pixel art and doesn't necessarily work in background design it's it's much less forgiving and it's kind of you want to aim for more high set high contrast uh right if there's just a slight color difference that's not going to get noticed and so it's ultimately pointless so again i think uh the 8-bit pixel art methodology makes you a really strong artist for uh, a lot of reasons it makes you like don't do things that aren't going to get noticed because what is really the point there um and so all the pixel art um limitations you might say are actually really useful they they um weed out the weak aspects of you where it's like i'm just wasting time on this slight color variation i'm just uh, wasting time on this thing that isn't noticed oh i can't tell that what they're standing on i can't tell the planes that they're on all of these things so it just makes you a stronger artist i feel like by um f forcing you to make things be more in the light be more noticeable um so it's like a trial through adversity situation you'll see i ended up changing the soldier character a lot more now you can actually see both of his arms which i like a lot more the, the shield is on his back and i gave all of them an outline something i was trying to avoid actually i wanted them to be uh, very minimalistic in their pixel use and so the outline felt indulgent but um having them stick out of the background was just incredibly useful and also it makes different aspects of them be more apparent uh stick out so the the shoulder pads that he has were kind of like fading into like the rest of his body and whatnot having an outline means i can go this is definitively their head this is definitively like where their arms are at and so their animation should be easier to move to the future these need to get animated and having an outline is just hugely useful in my working process right i have a history in 2d animation figuring out the lich a lot more i have this kind of like inner glow to exemplify different parts of him so you can tell the difference between one side of his hand and the other side of his hand and then ultimately he's kind of purple with black edging but you gotta use all that strategically so it's a lot of me trying things right here like can you notice that he has kind of an emblem on his chest how much of that should be noticed do i dial that back do people care you know is this an aspect that's interesting for the character have i created too many interesting things for the character the 70 30 rule where if uh, a character a character should have 30 percent interesting things and 70 percent just regular things and so if they're interesting above 30 percent then it's like too much to look at a gaudy character trying to dial back a lot of things with them and you'll see me here realizing the other characters have outlines he doesn't have an outline and i don't think he fits the rest of the design scheme as such so i've given him an outline um, to fit the other characters. And what you're seeing here is actually getting him prepped for rigging. Smash Studio, you can see their logo up in the corner. And it's actually a Steam game, $15 currently, which is crazy because other rigging software for other things are like in the hundreds of dollars and on subscription services. How dare they? So uh, subscription services are just so heinous to me. 
well, this is like a flat $15 fee made by just fans of 2D games who want to make it accessible to people. So it's actually a fighter where you get to make your own fighter character and have them fight other uh, characters made by other uh, users of the game, you know, other players. Um, and yeah, so I break him up into pieces and uh, bring him in. That's what you just saw, bringing in all the pieces. And this is like a 3D heat map where you can, uh, depth map, uh, where you can draw in uh, how deep, you know, how three-dimensional these different parts should be. It's not a very refined process. Um, but the rigging part is crazy. This kind of assumes a three-dimensionality. That's why you're seeing the pieces spinning right now. And uh, in a moment, they'll all get rigged up. I'm just trying to get them as three-dimensional as I could get them. The uh, the way it assumed the colors were all wrong because the brightest part of him is really where he should be hollow, but the thing assumed differently. And I just animate him real quick at the end of there, and then we're out. Um, I don't have anything more to say, so let's go to the outro. I see now why everyone does these videos in their car. It's the only place we have privacy left in this godforsaken piece of garbage. Bye! Bye.